In our previous two videos concerned with the chandelier and an EA development activity I've been involved in, uh, we kept things very simple and we only use the two indicators to uh, project when we should enter and exit uh, our trades. Tom Wilmot again, and uh, in this particular video I'd like to add some indicators, not to make things messier or more complicated, but to describe to you what I use my own trading uh, and call double divergence. We mentioned before that if the, uh, if the price bar or candlestick reached up and touched or got very close to the chandelier when we were also in an overbought situation on the stochastic that that was an opportunity for an entry with minimum risk. That was the whole notion in videos one and two. I've added a couple of ideas here. For many years I've been doing uh, something called multiple moving averages or using them, uh, having read books uh, on the topic. And basically what happens is we've used uh, a 12, uh, 16, 20, and 24 EMA uh, to plot uh, what's happening here. And when uh, the, the 12 crosses over the 24, on the downside, we'd see a blue medallion, and when it crosses over on the upside, we'd see a white medallion. And so, uh, in addition to the divergence that would occur when we were in a downtrend here, and, and an overbought condition here, now we can also see that we have a, a downtrend confirmed by the multiple moving averages as well as the chandelier. So we have one, two indications of a downtrend, and we have an indication of being overbought in this particular case. Now what's happened here is that uh, we've also added the uh, MACD or MACD and this is set exactly to the 1224 so it is going to cross over the zero line at the exact point that we see the medallion appear. The same thing would be true over here and the same thing would be true over here because as the 12 and 24 cross that's just a different visual representation of what's going on. But for me personally, when I'm trading, uh, it helps me to understand and confirm uh, the conditions that are there so the mind doesn't play tricks like it typically does when you're an isolated trader. Okay, so what, what do we mean by double divergence? We mean very simply that we have the indication here that we're in the downtrend. We're confirming it with the uh, situation here that the chandelier is in a downtrend. We are overbought in this particular case, and we are also moving higher in a downtrend, confirmed by the visual on the MACD. So it's at this particular moment in time when those things are all together working in one uh, in opposite directions, double uh, double divergence, as you will, that we would be interested in entering the trade to the short side. And in this particular case, our risk would be eight pips. Once again, uh, I, I have to say, and not once again, but introduce to you that this, in this particular case, we're looking at a, a pound yen five minute chart, a slightly different uh, iteration in order to show you that the program works quite nicely uh, in multiple uh, activities. The pound yen is much more volatile as a pair, but no matter, you can see that the same situation exists here. We have a pullback up to the chandelier. We have an eight pip risk. And in the case of this pair, it's very nice. Uh, down we go and we have a 69 pip 65 pip kind of a move before we have any further pullbacks. So the point being that uh, you can use uh, the multiple moving averages as we go down to track your progress to see when we've pulled back and obviously uh, lower lows, higher uh, and lower highs as we move through this configuration, lower low, lower high, and so on all the way down as we continue to move and we don't really have to worry uh, about any kind of a change in uh, direction until we see this next medallion. Now I'd like to add one more indicator for you. Another one that I've added in some cases and uh, I can do it right now. Let's see we've got indicators moving averages custom. Just one second we'll get it over here for you. 
I kept it off the chart to begin with so it wasn't too complicated or or, uh, or messy. It's called Trend Magic and it's based on some CCI uh, mathematics. And I'll add it in here. You can see it is another one of the uh, um, indicators that is basically a trend indicator. And you can see that as we move down the chain, the trend magic indicator indicates a position where unless you uh, breach it, you're in very good shape. So when we think about double divergence, we're thinking about the double red lines here, the downtrend, and then being overbought any one of these points is a point to consider the entry. One last uh, issue to bring to your attention, my own view is that the earlier in the trend you can get involved, the better off you are. First or second pullback is always best, rather than in this case where the trend may simply have run out of steam. So we'll come back and take a look at some specific examples of this, but that at least gives you an introduction to the indicators we would be using in an EA called Double Divergence. Thanks for listening.